Hello, hello, and welcome back to Formula One 2022 and Interlagos Brazil. And we are here for the qualifying session, and it looks like it's going to be a slightly bit damp, so we'll be going out on the intermediate tyres. It uh, also looks like the weather might be a little bit changeable, so we are going to have to be somewhat adaptive. So as with so far in this season, we will let everybody else go out in front of us. And once they set their times and return to the pits, we will then go out and set our fast lap. So we're out on the track now, and it doesn't look that wet there are a few spots in the air the track doesn't look too damp so i think uh, before the end of this session possibly maybe the next session we could be switching to the dry tires so as we enter into the straight and across the line to start our first flying lap we're just going to enter into the first very tricky corner it comes pretty much out of nowhere I try not to take too much curb through corner two get our foot down hard on the accelerator all the way down here uh, there are a few uh, cars still on the track it looks like there's a ferrari up ahead of us uh, it could be far enough ahead not to impede us if we don't go too fast that is so we're just going to make our way around, oh, missed an apex there ever so slightly, that's not too bad though. Uh, the AI is still somewhat lower than I can do, uh, so we would normally succeed at qualifying on pole position here. A bit wide on the exit of that corner there and just about made the apex for the final corner and all we have to do now is accelerate hard to the line opening our DRS as we go and we are across the line for a 115.8 okay, that's lap. not too bad so we'll head back to the pits and I'm gonna keep a close eye on the times and the tires in fact I think it might be worth just switching to the dry tires and we're gonna head it straight back out and see if we can't improve our time because I think everybody else on their second runs will be switching to the dry tires it does not look that wet at all so let's see if we can hang on to the slightly damp track with the very dry tires so, as we approach the pit straight we're gonna cross the line and begin our second flying lap and the grip feels good uh, I think we may have made the right decision here uh, I have made the wrong decision in the past when we've had changeable conditions and I've gone out on the, the intermediates set a blistering time gone back to the pits perfectly happy with my lap and then everyone else goes out on dry tires and drops me right down through the field somewhere into the mid pack sometimes even further back than that and we have to spend the whole race biting our way through okay, the traffic two laps of fuel remaining now. today i think we've made the right decision to go straight back out on the dry tires here we are four seconds up on our previous lap uh, almost five seconds now so we're doing quite well here we are setting fast sectors so I think this will be a uh, top position for our lap as we cross the line we get a 110.7 so I think that will lap. do for the first session of qualifying so let's head back to the pits and see what everybody else has done and it looks like Mr Norris has also decided to go for the dry tyres but he is two seconds behind us 
so it looks good for us so far we are now through to the second part of qualifying and we've lost five of the slowest drivers so far so moving straight on to the second session and it looks very much dry indeed so we're just gonna once again select the tires we used for the last session we're gonna let everybody else go out in front of us once again and they can all set their fast laps everybody is now on the dry tires so I think the track is now dry enough for everyone so let's go out and see if we can't set a lap that will put us in the top 10 for the final section of qualifying and we're gonna just head round this last bit of the track here the final section a very fast section of Interlagos uh, this is a fan favorite track and I can't deny that uh, it is a lot of fun to drive uh, it's a very fast very twisty track and it is extremely enjoyable to drive as long as we get that first corner right the rest of the lap should be pretty much straight forwards uh, we've already done it twice today so far once on the intermediates and of course once on the this particular set of dry tires that means that these tires are not at their best but we've only done a couple of laps on them and they should have at least one more flying lap of life left in them so we'll just make our way around this rather difficult corner there you have to be very gentle on the accelerator and through this one as well we don't want to start accelerating too early so into the final section and our last big braking point before we slam our foot to the floor and launch ourselves up the hill and towards the finish line as we cut across the pit lane entrance ever so slightly and we get a 110.7 again so exactly the same as our uh, previous stint so let's get back to the pits and see how everybody else has done and we have Max Verstappen less than two seconds behind us and let's just speed up the time there because we don't want anyone to pass us uh, everybody else should be out on their second lap by now so we are through to the top 10 shootout and it looks like the Ferrari managed to get ahead of Max Verstappen in fact Max dropped quite low down he is starting currently in 7th now I'm sure he will improve on that in this final section so once again as usual we will let everybody else go out set their times and then return to the pits so that we can have the entire track to ourselves no one can impede us in any way whatsoever so out of the pits onto our uh, build up lap and around through the final section of the circuit braking hard for this corner take as much curb as you dare and then flooring it all the way up to the start and finish straight just gently cut over into the pit lane there and cross the line to begin our final flying lap of the session that first corner really really well there a bit of curb on turn three nice and wide out to the exit and then straight down back straight here and set a fast first sector and that gives us a good advantage and as long as we don't bin it somewhere along these last two sections of the track it looks like we are very much on for a pole position for the race so all we've got to do now is make it through the middle sector here we 
which isn't too difficult. This is probably the toughest corner of the sector and we made it through there with no issues. So our final big breaking point, uh, we missed the, the curbs there a little bit, but I don't think that matters. We have two purple sectors so far. So once we get to the line, we should be comfortably in pole position for the race tomorrow. And again, we set a 110.7. That's three laps on the trot. Uh, it's slightly disappointing as those were brand new tyres. We should have gone a little bit faster. But never mind, we are 1.5 seconds clear of our nearest rival, Max Verstappen. We have both of the Ferraris uh, bring it up the rear with Charles Leclerc in the, the last of the podium places. Lewis Hamilton could only manage fifth so far. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. Tempest, Verstappen and George Russell. With qualifying wrapped up now, we have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. So, one more pole position secured. Uh, join us in a couple of hours where we will take on the Interlagos track for the Formula One Brazil Grand Prix. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.